Hi folks, and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to apply some sort of clothing to our character by building a basic pickup. So what we're going to do is first of all go to our lovely content library and we're going to just create a folder and we'll call this um, outfits like so and within this we'll create a folder for our first outfit which is actually going to be a tunic just like so. Right, then what we're going to do is we're going to find our sprites that we're using. At this moment in time, I've built a PNG for a basic uh, tunic sprite for my character, which actually overlays the player quite nicely. So I'm going to drag that in and drop that into this lovely folder here, just like so. Now, the first thing that you need to do with any new file is first of all, go to Sprite Actions and apply Texture to these settings like so, which will then just quickly get rid of all the lovely, lovely transparent points in the background so we've got a nice transparent data just like all PNGs should have. Then what we're going to do is actually just break down the sprite actions by extracting this sprite sheet and now beforehand we did this by doing an auto extract. What we're actually going to do this time is we have to do it by grid just in case it moves the position of any of the objects. Now I know that my character is 32 by 32 pixels so I'm going to just set it to be 32 by 32 pixels and also I'm going to just give this a name so we'll call this tunic like that curly brackets then the zero index there to associate with that now I should have a basic tunic setup which I can then extract just like so fantastic now what we're going to want to do with this tunic is first of all just break this down into our lovely animation setting so what we'll do is we'll work out which ones are the right frames the up frames the down frames this is going to be more difficult than i anticipated because it's put them all in the wrong order let's just delete all these out a second delete like so relaunch that's fine go to sprites extract sprites do it like this auto set it to a grid 32 by 32 not going to change the name of it this time then extract and again now there we go it's done it in the correct order how very strange right so what we'll do is just highlight the five ones going downwards create a flipbook and call this tunic down walk or tunic walk down like so then let's do it for the right ones. Tunic walk right. Then for the left ones. Tunic walk left. And then finally for them going up. Up just like so and there we go so now we have all the lovely tunic walking animations now we can test these out on our main player character for now just going to our main player character going to the viewport and what we'll do is we're going to add a paper flip book in this scenario by going to components and type in paper flip book there we go and just adding that just in front of our player character now what we want might want to do is go into perspective mode right onto the actual character backwards there you go and just move it a single pixel in front of the actual other image so now oh, that's behind that's the wrong way so now we should end up with our lovely image working for our character when they're walking downwards of course this isn't what it should be looking like at this moment in time because it's not in line with the actual animations itself so what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to update it and cast the data into an array so it works out which animations to be playing for which outfit to be wearing 